ingenious supplies. Hey folks, Alex here. Just want to say we had a few technical difficulties on this one. So if you're sensitive to things like camera zooming in and out quickly, the overhead angle on this episode has some issues. We totally understand if you can't watch it. Thanks for checking in and have a great day. Otherwise, here's your regularly scheduled episode of the Spike Feeders. What's up, Spikes? Welcome back to the Spike Feeders World Headquarters here in glorious Winnipeg, Manitoba for what is likely to be the final game of Fallout Precons. That's right, we're doing it one more time for you. Thanks to the folks at Wizards of the Coast for providing these decks to us early so we could bring this content to you. But the reason we're able to bring the content to you is because of Game Genic, our generous channel sponsor, who gives us the play mats, who gives us the sleeves, who gives us the deck boxes that keep our cards organized. Without them, we couldn't do it, and we just want to say thanks to all of them. Check them out at your local game store. In the meantime, though, we're going to get straight into this, but before we do, just go like the video. I want so many likes on this video. I want so many likes on this video, I have to talk to Jim about it and be like, look, Jim, we have so many likes on this video. So please help me out. I'm playing Hail Kaisar, featuring Kaisar, Legion's Emperor. This is a deck that's a Mardu attack deck. It's led by a fascist, and they're really good at getting a whole bunch of soldiers to attack people indiscriminately. I love fascism. Oh. Uh, Don't I'm, clip that. <laughs> I'm Jan, which is why I said that. <laughs> okay, I'm Elliot. Uh, I'm playing with the power of science today. Uh, Dr. Madison Lee is the commander of this deck. Jeskai deck, artifact deck, energy deck, deck. deck. I like it. Good. Deck. Uh, and I'm Elliot, and I also love fascism. What? Or I'm Jan, and I don't love fascism. You can choose however you'd like to go with that. It's either uh, we're both going down together, or... <laughs> uh, and I'm playing uh, the Wise Mothman. Uh, this is a radiation-based deck, because radiation is the energy of the future. Um, and uh, he just wants to give out free energy... <laughs> Free. To all those around him, and then it just makes him big to fulfill his prophecy, and that's I'm gonna kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nikolai Tesla. Oh, wow, good oh, reference, Jerry. Yes. Yeah. It's Hi, hot. Jerry here. Um, I'm uh, going last for the third time this filming session, as you may have noticed and already complained in the comments about that I go last all the time, and it's an unfair process. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jer. Have you ever just thought about getting good at rolling dice? I'm not Alex. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm on Dogmeat Everloyal. Uh, scrappy Survivors, the deck today. It's uh, She kind of looks like my dog. Uh, if you haven't ever uh, seen my dog, you should. Uh, she's adorable. Anyway, um, little shepherdy little dog. Um, we're going to do uh, Community Ward. Uh, if anyone uh, kills the dog, I will kill them. Anyway, it's going to be a voltron -y deck where uh, a lot of auras, a lot of equipment, and we're just going to try to do that with other cards as well uh, throughout the deck. That seems good. Well, now that we're all the way off the rails, let's get back on them by cracking into our Bastions. Well, as I mentioned, I won the dice roll because I'm good at rolling dice, and we're going to start the game. We're going to start with Canyon Slow for a Swamp Mountain and pass the turn. A Swanton, huh? Swanton. A Swanton. Swanton. Draw for turn. Mystic Monastery. Uh, I'm going to play this Temple of Deceit. Yeah. <gasps> and then uh, Scry. This is going to date this video, but lying in CEDH. You're welcome. The worst part is this is coming out in like two weeks. It is. Uh, it's like very fast comparatively. Sun Petal Grove tapped past the turn. I'll untap and draw. Uh, I'll play this Clip Top Retreat. Untap because I control a mountain. Tap two for Impassioned Orator. Ooh, ooh. That's a 2 2 that says whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, gain one life. Pass. Soul Mista. Soul Shouter. <laughs> nice. Okay. Draw for turn. I will play a Basic Planes and I'll tap two for a Talisman of Conviction. Nice. Mm. Yeah, Boros Talisman. Oh. Um, that'll be my turn. All right, I'm going to untap. Draw. Oh my goodness, I knew this card existed. Forest, everybody's favorite burb, Vexing Radgull. It's a 2-1 flying. When it deals combat damage to a player, give them two rads if they have no rads. Otherwise, peripheral rate. Oh, huh. Dan danger, 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 danger. Danger bird. Draw, forest, tap two, and we will equip 
Uh, this forest with a fertile ground. Uh, pass the turn. Sounds good. It's a nice chill game. On tap. Magic. Draw. Mm. We'll play a Temple of Malice as our land for turn. Do a little scry. I'm going to put it on the bottom. Then we'll pay one for Skull Clamp. Okay. He gets Skull Clamp. It's like it's a good card. I don't know if it's as aggressive in that deck. It makes one one. Yeah, but it costs him a creature. Mm. Uh, draft for turn. Yeah. Glacial Fortress, mm. untapped because of my Whoa. planes. I'm gaming. I'm gaming. Out of your mind. Like to not take an ouchie, but I would like to tap three manas of various colors to cast Dr. Madison Lee. Science. Science. Pass the turn. Yeah. All right. Untap. Draw a card. I am going to play this here, Island. I would like to cast a Cultivate. Swamp into play, tapped. Forest into play, my hand tapped. Attack Jerry for one. <laughs> Get him. Turn Jerry, I, I notice you don't have any rads. You, you know what? I would don't, like to gift them to you. I appreciate that. That was very kind of you. I have two You're rads. Welcome. I feel like Jerry needs cards in his graveyard. Yeah. I do. I'd like to. I, I would card. like to pass the turn. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw. Um, drew my card. Uh, move to rad step. We are doing a Veronica Dissident Scribe. And Valorous Stance. Got two rid of both two. of them. Two for two. two. Not even a sweat. We will play our land for the turn in a plains. Mm -hmm. We are then going to tap Fertile Ground, uh, a green and a purple. Uh, do Azorius Signet. Mm. And then we're going to tap three red, green, white. And we're doing Dogmeat Ever Loyal. ETB Trigger. We are milling a Codsworth Handy Helper, Sticky Fingers. Oh, I love that card. Um, Mountain, uh, Kate Cage Brawler, and Acquired Mutation. Ooh. Also, that's an Arcane Signet, not an Azorius Signet. That I thought, makes sense. Did I say Ar You said Azorius. Azorius. Oh, my bad. Arcane Signet. Yeah. Azorius um, is not Fallout. That no. makes sense. That's I'm going to do Sticky signet. Fingers to hand. Talismans. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Okie dokie, we're going to untap, upkeep, draw. We'll play it. Isolated Chapel's land for turn. He's gaming mm -hmm. out of his um, mind. The cliff Kaiser. The... It is in fact Kaiser. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's kind of sick. Oh. I'll last turn. Uh, you gain a life. Oh, I do gain a life. My bad. 41. I hear the war horns. Now I'll pass the turn. Okay, don't want to attack? No. Mm, you can sacrifice this, make I don't. things to clamp. Huh? Oh, no. Okay. I'll untap. I told you it's not just <laughs> <laughs> Draw for turn. I've got a basic mountain. Nice. And then I've got uh, five mana, and I still don't have to take an ouchie because I'm oh, gaming. I've got gaming. red, red. The mother load, comma, oh. excavator. Uh, this is three red, red. Uh, whenever I cast an artifact spell, I get an energy. Nice. When Motherload enters, I'm going to choose target opponent and get an amount of energy equal to the number of non-basic lands that player controls. Uh, Alex has four, so I would like to go to a total of five energy. Good Lord. And when this attacks, I may pay four energy. When I do, destroy target non-basic land defending player controls and creatures that player controls without flying can't block this turn. Wow. wow. That's a lot. It's a lot of things. A lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to uh, not get like super greedy, but uh, a little greedy, I think. I'm going to tap Madison Lee and just pay one to give my mother load uh, plus one, plus O, oh, trample and haste. Mm -hmm. And then I'd like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. And I would like to attack Alex. Mm -hmm. uh, I will not pay for energy, though. That that makes not, I'm not trying to strip that's, mine that's you. I'm just trying to six you. Yeah. Six me is okay. 35. Bastard. One, six, yeah. same thing. Yeah, gonna exactly. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play this forest that everybody knew about. Since I'm the only one that doesn't have their commander out, You're gonna I'm going to cast Damnation. Oh. So oh I'm going to cast uh, <laughs> The Wise Amothaman. I would like everyone to uh, receive onto them a radiation. Then I would like to go to combat. I'm at 37, no flying. You are. It's probably me, I'm at 40. Elliot, I'd like you to take one. I will. 39. And because and you because... have already been gifted with radiation, I would like to proliferate. Proliferate. I'll pass the turn. Yeah. Fair. On tap. Proceed to rad step. Yep. Uh, oh, that's a land! <gasps> It's not a land. 
Right. Mantle of the Ancients down. Oh, no. Ooh, that's that's the one you want to draw, not the one you want to mill. Uh, 36, you keep one rad. And yeah, Jan has... This is what it feels like. I'm so <laughs> it's really invigorated. Good. Terramorphic Expanse as land for turn. So red, green, white for an armory paladin. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. Trample, so. whenever you cast an aura or equipment spell, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card until end of your next turn. Then I will tap Arcane Signet for red and sticky fingers. Oh no, dog meat's getting sticky fingers. Gone to the peanut butter again. (laughs) Enchanted creature has menace, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. When enchanted creature dies, draw a card. I cast an aura, so I will exile the top card of my library. It is an explorer's scope. Um, You may play that card until the end of my next turn we're uh we're gonna hold that there for now we, we got time next we're going to proceed to combat uh jan i'm gonna swing at you three three with menashe i'll go to 37. uh you also get uh a junk Dog on meat. attack i get a junk a and treasure on yes hit. on hit wow wow everybody jerry's the threat always feel like they do so much stuff. And I'm going to oh, be yeah. very honest with you. I'm just going to crack this temple, our Terramorphic Expanse, right now, just to save some time. Get this mountain tapped. Oh, red source found. Perfect mana base, finally. Go ahead. Oh, okay. took you long enough. Yeah. Uh, untap. Upkeep. Draw. Rads. Rads. Rad one. Rads. Swamp. Rad two. White Glove Gourmand. Uh, 34. 34. We'll play Tainted Peak as our land for turn. Uh, we're going to tap one, two, three, four, five. Assemble the Legion. Gosh, I wish. I'd be so happy if it was Assemble the Legion. Cast it's actually assemble. just Securitron Squadron. Squad oh. equals one. Uh, so we'll make a copy of it. Yeah. You'll gain two. We'll gain two life. And then the... Second one comes in with two counters. Yes. Because it's a creature token. We figured it out when Jerry did it. Definitely. With three. Yeah, properly, for sure. And we know how it works now. Yeah. Uh, Impassioned Orator is going to attack you alongside Caesar. Caesar two? Trigger. I'm going to trigger... And sacrifice my passion door raider. Uh huh. Making oh. two, three, three soldiers. Oh, God. Uh-huh. Because Gosh. they come in with two counters. Yes. So I am taking one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Ten. Uh, you have two abilities. Yes, oh, you, you do. You second choose ability. a second one as well. I'll draw a card and lose a life. Okay. Go to 35. Oh, so that's what that deck does. Mm-hmm. It's weird what happens when someone casts their commander. <laughs> Pass turn. Uh, untap. Draw a card. Riad two. On a land as well. Gosh. And an intelligence bobblehead. Ooh, draw cards. That's a nice one. Uh, 28. Mm-hmm. One radiation for me. Got a basic island. Mm-hmm. What's it like to have a perfect basic mana base? It's good. It's uh, nice. Three, four, five, six. I've got six. Still colorless on the talisman. For Behemoth of Vault Zero. Uh, it is an artifact, so on cast I will make an energy, and then uh, it's a 6-6 six, six with trample, and it says when it ETBs, get 4 energy. Uh, when it dies, I can pay any amount of energy equal to target non-land permanence mana value when I do destroy that permanent. Uh, second verse, same as the first, I believe. I'm going to uh, tap Madison Lee. Uh, using one of these, uh, give the behemoth uh, plus one, plus oh, uh, trample, trample, and Uh haste. (laughs) Uh, And then I'll go to combat. Yeah. Big punches. Uh, You've got just a 3-3 creature. Correct. You've got a a 2-2 and a 4-4. Tough. Jan's got a 6-6. Or, sorry, 5-5. 5-5? Yeah. I don't think he's going to block with Mothman. No, presumably not, yeah. I will attack Jerry with the 5-5. Five, five. Doesn't have trample. Jan with the 7-6. Seven, six, seven, six. Six. Uh, that one does have trample. Okay. That is my attacks. Okay. I will not pay for energy to strip mine Jeremiah. Okay. No blocks. No blocks. I'm going to 30. That's I'm going to pass the turn. I, I think this is the best, best thing that I've seen this deck do. Uh, I drew a 5-drop artifact that gives me 4 energy into a 6-drop artifact that gives me 4 energy. Okay. So. Pretty good. Uh, <laughs> rads. No, oh, no, my Murloc Queen. And Fed of Ghouls. One for Jan as well. Okay, well, I'll play as Drowned Catacombs. Well, let's play Strong. 
the Brutish Thespain. Oh, I drew this one in the one game, yeah. uh, and it was a 50-50 between that thing and the zombie thing. And yeah. you picked the worst one, I think. <laughs> uh, Ward 2, Enrage, whenever it's dealt damage, I get three rad counters and put three plus one plus one counters on strong. Uh, I gain life rather than lose life from radiation. I'd like to send the Wise Mothman at Jerry and the Vexing Raggull at Alex. Sounds good. Uh, so trigger the Mothman. Response to the trigger. Ooh. Path to Exile Mothman. Uh, everybody's still getting a rad. I will get a tapped island. Then I take two from the gull. Two from the gull, and I would like to proliferate, proliferate again. So I go to 33. Yep. I assume you want the rads, yeah? Yep. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, okay, mill step, or sorry, rad step. Uh, cast Hand of Vengeance. Bloodforged Battle Axe. Inventory management. Oh, that's rough. Three for three. Oh. Twenty-eight. I'm going to activate my junk, just because you know might as well. We got a On brass. Camera, Jerry, really? Yeah. We got brass knuckles. When you cast Ooh. the spell, copy it. Equip creature has double strike as long as it has two or more equipment attached to it. Good to know. Good to know. Um, we're gonna tap three mana, and we're gonna play a. Brotherhood Outcast. So when Brotherhood Outcast enters the battlefield, choose one. Return target aura or equipment card with mana three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield or put a shield counter on target creature. We're going to choose the former to put get an acquired mutation. Uh, so acquired mutation is enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and is goaded. Um, oh, and whenever sauce? enchanted creature attacks, sauce. defending player gets two rad counters. And Jan, you like rad counters, and you have a 7-7, seven, seven, and we're friends. So I'm going to pay the ward and enchant your 7-7, uh, seven, seven, make it a 9-9. Nine, nine. Actually, Jared, this is going to sound really stupid, but because you didn't cast the aura, and it's just entering the battlefield, it's just attaching, you don't need yeah. to pay for ward. That's so much better! Yeah. Gets Free two mana. Hexproof too. Oh, yeah, that's right. There you go. Um... That's that's uh that's just that's just free. Move to combat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh Elliot. Yes, sir. You have no blockers? I got zip. Uh I have six coming at you. Six it is. I'm gonna create a treasure and a junk. The junk was on attack, sorry. Uh, you actually missed it, so <laughs> uh, cool. It's here. Um I'm then going to tap one and play this explorer's scope. Um, and, uh, we're, we're... Is that, uh, you, you get to go again? Yeah, you find What? Because you cast Oh my again. goodness. <laughs> Forest. I have not played a land for the turn yet. He's gaming out of his mind. Forest. Tap Forest. That's free. Again, free! And, uh, Dogmeat's got a... An explorer scope. We've oh, got a telescope. It's got a little chill. It is all sticky fingers. <laughs> uh, pass turn. Please, please uh, does does that go to exile permanently? Yeah. This is now exile permanently. No brass knuckles. Sounds oh. good. We're going to untap. Yeah, couldn't fit them on a sticky finger. No, nah, wouldn't be able to get them off. Yeah. Draw. Then we're going to rad for three. Yep. Command tower. Colonel Autumn. Luck bobblehead. Two. Two. Want to play a Temple of Silence? We'll leave that on top. One, two, three, four, for Rose, Cutthroat Raider. It's a legendary artifact creature robot with first strike on three, two, and it says raid at the end of combat on my turn. If I attack to this turn, create a junk token for each opponent that I attacked. And it also says whenever I sacrifice a junk, add a red mana. So uh, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to announce moving to declare attacks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send... Yeah, three, two. Yeah, I see that. I'm going to send the four, four Securitron at Jerry. Yep. I'm going to send two of the soldiers at Jan and the other Securitron squadron at Elliot. I'm then going to sacrifice one of the soldiers to make two of the soldiers, Where are which going? are both attacking Jan. Okay. So uh, at Jan is three three threes, mm -hmm. at Elliot is one two two, and at Jerry is one four four. Okay. Did you use another method uh, for... I'm uh, deciding that right now. You got it. Uh, one two, three, four. I don't know if four is worth it, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a card. Lose a life. Life. You got it. 30 for Alex. Draws a card, and then I'm not blocking. Uh -uh, block. I'm going to block one of them. Block one of them. So one so of them will die, and, and then you get enrage and three rads. Uh, 
Then you'll take six, take six Jan. Six. I'm going 23. 23. And I'm taking nothing, and my Brotherhood outcast is just dying. I'm taking two. Okay. Down to 20. Down to 20. I think at that point I get three junk tokens, because I attacked all of my opponents. You did, you did. And I'll pass the turn. I'm going to untap then. Uh, upkeep. I got nothing still. Draw for my turn. Uh, rad three. I've got Wake the Past. Ooh. It's not very exciting. I only have one card <laughs> in my graveyard. Rust Veil Bridge. And ooh, Helios One, which is nice. another land. So, uh, just, so one. just one. I lose one. And I take one down to 19. Red, white, something colorless. Sentinel Sarah Lyons. Mm -hmm. This is a 4 4 legendary human knight with haste. As long as an artifact entered the battlefield under my control this turn, creatures I control get plus two, plus two. <laughs> Whenever Sentinel Sarah Lyons and at least two other creatures attack, it deals damage equal to the number of artifacts I control to target player. Where are I, all these cards when Jerry was playing? <laughs> <laughs> it's hopefully going to be some damage, especially yeah. because. I've got this treasure vault, which isn't casting an artifact spell, but it is an artifact entering the battlefield. So my creatures will have plus two, plus two. Tap Madison Lee, pay an energy uh, to give the mother load uh, trample, plus one, plus oh, and trample. Okay. Then I'm going to head to combat. Do it. I am going to attack Jerry for six, mm -hmm. Alex for six. Mm -hmm. Jan for six. No, sorry. Alex for eight. Jan for eight. Okay. Uh, those are my attacks. Uh, Sentinel Sarah Lyons says, because I attacked with her and two other creatures, I can deal damage equal to the number of artifacts, which is only one, two, three, four, uh, to a player. That player will be... It'll be Alex. Okay, so I take four. So 26. Mm -hmm. And then, again... Uh, Eight, eight, and six. Eight, six. No blocks for me. Chan, blocks. Sorry. Um, no blocks. No blocks. Okay, I did something. Hey, I'm gaming over here. Uh, so 15. Jan to fifteen. Yep. Uh, I was honestly expecting to lose a creature that combat, but you know that's that's good for me too, I suppose. Yep. Um, I will just pass the turn. All right. So I'm gonna untap and draw this card. Uh, I have radiation to deal with. So what you got? Arcane Signet, Cathedral Ad uh, Acolyte, Nightkin Ambusher, Ash Baron, Temple of the False God, and Farseek. So that's four. Four. So I will gain four life. <gasps> right. Nineteen. Uh, and you do still lose four of the counters. Yes. Uh, counters. I mean, this thing costs six. Overflowing but... Basin. I would like to pay four and cast a Corpse Jack Menace. Oh. Oh. Go to combat. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. I'd like to attack Elliot. <gasps> Both of them? For uh, 12, 15. 15. I will yeah. take 15. On attack, you also get two rads because of oh, the... Yeah. Ah, okay. I get two rads from that. I take... 15 down to four. Four. Wait, are you dead to rads on a... Uh, potentially. Uh, and then I will proliferate. Yep. I so, assume the rads, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> all, all the rads and the counters on my... On the counters on your guys. Yeah. Oh, and now they're hardened counter counters. Pass the turn to Jerry. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Um, I'm going to use a junk. Just give uh, as many options as possible. I'm going to play the land off that junk. Got a planes off of it. Tap three mana, white, uh, purple, green. Uh, Pre-war formal wear. Oh. Uh, trigger good. on cast, armory paladin. Yep. Armory paladin's got a blasphemous act. And ETB, return target creature card with... Uh, sorry, target creature card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield and attach pre-war formal wear to it. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has vigilance. Uh, I'm going to get Codsworth Handy Helper. Um, commanders you control have Ward 2, tap 2, spend this mana only to activate, or tap, add white, white, spend this mana only, only to cast aura and or equipment spells. It is now 5-5 five, five with Vigilance. I'm going to attempt to cast a Heroic Intervention. Oh, he is going the distance. We're going to try to do the thing. Does Heroic Intervention resolve? No effects, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tap red, cast Blasphemous Act. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to cast Mutational Advantage. Permanents I control with counters on them gain Hexproof and Indestructible at the end of turn. Prevent all damage that will be dealt to those permanents this turn. Proliferate. All right. Uh -oh. Proliferate. So all the rads. All the rads. Six. Six. Now, unfortunately, because it also prevents damage, I don't get to add more counters. Oh, sure. Because he's enraged. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was already big enough to survive anyway, yeah. right? Well, no, because he prevents the damage of the enrage. I understand, but he, yes. he was going to survive anyway, was what I was asking. Oh, probably, yeah. Uh, I have a dies trigger on my Behemoth of Vault Zero, but your thing has Ward now? Ward 2, yeah. Well, well two. I, mine also all have Indestructible. So do mine. And oh. Hexproof. And so do his. So do mine, yeah. I, I ain't doing it then. I, I ain't doing nothing. I guess I'm going to die to Jan, but Alex, 6 you. Coming at you for six. I have some attack triggers. Attack. Uh, look at the top card of my library. Cool. I cannot put it onto the battlefield tapped. Uh, menace. So just six coming at you currently. Twelve. And make a junk. And I have a junk. And a, another treasure. Another treasure. I will then tap my junk. Uh, junk jet. Junk jet's good. We'll cast. Junk jet with treasures. Okay. ETB, create a junk. <laughs> uh, let's do that. That is a chaos warp. Does that have hexproof? What is that? It has, yeah, these have hexproof hex and, and indestructible. And okay. And indestructible. But the hexproof is important for the chaos warp. Correct. Um, I can play this until the end of my next turn. I'm just going to activate this junk. Uh, Pip Boy 3000, cast this. Activate Armored Paladin. Idolized Enchant Creature has, uh, whenever this creature attacks alone, it gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of non-land permanents you control. Um, go ahead. Rads. One, two, three. Mountain, mountain, wild wasteland. Alex is uh, So one. 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 No, Alex, Alex to 11. 11. I'll activate a junk. Hiya. Arcane I'll activate a junk. <laughs> Land. I'll play a swamp. Nice. Got to do it this turn, so we're going to do it this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Making sure, making sure, making sure. We made sure. Ruinous ultimatum. All of them? All of them. What does it do? All, Destroys them. All non-land permanents your opponents control. You got it. Mm -hmm. Talisman down. Pass turn. All righty. Moment of truth. Let's see if I live. I believe in you. Draw for turn and reveal six. One, oh. two, Ooh. nope, three, oh, nope, no. we need four, no. Oh, no, we need this to five. be five. That's dead. Yeah, dead. Six, All yeah, right. very dead. To the radiation. We did it. All right, Jan Regard, your rebuild turn. Yep, on tap. Radiation. Three. Nuka Nuke Launcher, Screeching Scorch oh, Beast, that one. and Alpha Deathclaw. Eight. Uh, three. three. 16. Well, I'm going to tap two green, and I'm going to cast Find to return two target creature cards from my graveyard to my hand. What are you finding? Let's go with this Mirelurk Queen. Yeah, so it's death, death Claw. I will then play a Tainted Isle for turn, and I will cast the Mirelurk Queen. So when it enters the battlefield, the target player, which will be Jerry, will get two rads. Oh, I finally got my rads. You got your rads back. I'm going to pass. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will then proceed to rad step. We are milling Masterwork of Ingenuity and Scavenger Ground. So down okay. one rad. Uh, trigger Myler Queen. One or more non-line cards are milled. Put a one counter on it and draw a card. All right, we're going to play Command Tower as land for turn. Um, we're then going to, to tap five for a Super Mutant Scavenger. When Super Mutant Scavenger enters the battlefield or dies, return up to one target aura or equipment card from your hand, or sorry, from your graveyard to your hand. Get pre-war formal wear, two including a white, and idolize Super Mutant Scavengers. And then this is exiled forever. Good Go stuff. ahead. Untapping, upkeeping, drawing. Rad one, intangible virtue. Red two, Mr. House, President and CEO. Dose. Go to nine. Trigger the queen. Tap one, two, three, four, five, six. Captain of the watch. Grab a soldier. Three of them. Soldier. Pass turn. All right, on tap. Play an island for turn. Tap six. 
Return of the Mothman. <laughs> we each get a... Let's get a rad. Jerry, I would like to attack you for six. What am I at? 21? Oh, yeah, I'm 15. Pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will then... Yes, rad two. Uh, squirrel's Nest and uh, Behemoth Sledge oh, down. Two. 13 for Jer. 13 for Jer. We're just gonna do, we're just gonna, we're gonna pre-war formal wear. Get back. Who's in the suit this time? Yeah. Brotherhood opponent, Outcast, ETB. Uh, off of the Brotherhood, uh, Outcast, we're gonna get Behemoth Sledge to the battlefield. We're going to e- attempt to equip uh, Behemoth Sledge to Super Mutant Scavenger. Mm-hmm. We are going to move to combat, and I'm going to swing at Jan. Uh, enchanted creature has whenever this creature attacks alone, it gets plus X, plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of non-land permanents you control. So it gets plus five, plus five off that, and plus two, plus two off the So 12-12 trample lifelink. 12-12 trample lifelink. I'm going to putrefy it. You got it. Anything else? Nope. Okay. okay. Rad counter. Secure the wastes. Ooh, one. One. Eight. Eight for Alex. We'll go ahead and junk real quick. Ooh. Desdemona Freedom's Edge. Four mana for a Vigilant whenever it attacks. Target creature card in my graveyard that's an artifact. Target creature card in my graveyard that's an artifact or that has mana value three or less gains escape until I'm turned. Escape cost is equal to its mana cost plus exile two cards from your graveyard. Have a nice day. Not that not my graveyard that one. not that my graveyard isn't big, but you're not as good as what I want to do. Because mm-hmm. what I want to do is one, two, three, four, and two for the squad to cast Wasteland Raider with a copy. So we need everybody to sack two creatures. All right, then we're going to move to attacks. We're going to send one at Jerry, four at Jerry. So uh, five at Jerry? So four damage. Four. Or, uh, sorry, five damage. Yeah. Five, five. five damage at Jerry. Okay. Eight. And then we will pass turn. Draw this card. Rad. Piper Wright. I'll play Mariposa Military Base. Um, let's go with okay, six mana for the Alpha Deathclaw. Mm-hmm. Uh, enters the battlefield or becomes monstrous, destroy target permanent. So we'll pick area three, three. Then we will pay two. The old Contagions Clasp. Take out your one, one. And that's it. Untap, upkeep, draw. Play Clifftop Retreat. I'm assuming these Plains in the Mountains are Plains in the Mountain. I'd hope so. Five. Uh, Dog Meat, Ever Loyal, ETB trigger. I'm going to mill five. Jeez, I'm going to be milled out here. Uh, we're milling Perception Bobblehead, Roadside Reliquary, uh, Bighorn Rancher, uh, Megaton's Fate, and Gunner Conscript. We're then going to... It doesn't have to be from those five. No, no it doesn't. I'm going to get Acquired Mutation back to my hand. Okay. And I'm going to Acquiredly Mutate the Death Claw. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's golden. Go ahead. Sounds good. We're going to untap, upkeep, draw. I don't have to rad for a No, like, nobody's a ratting. Second. Tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For Powder Ganger, oh. squad twice. Artifact, artifact, artifact. Sure. Yep. Whoa. That's sick, though. Squad's pretty good. He, he'd be blowing stuff up, that's for sure. Yeah. That I love, yeah. Elliot and I were already talking about this <laughs> way back when, but uh, that's a really good card. Eight, Jerry. Uh, I will block the real one. Dog down. Four. Okay, I'm going to okay. put the copy in my graveyard so we can still see what it is. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Pass turn. Okay. Oh, it takes, it takes four, goes to four. Yeah, yeah I'm at four. Goes to four. Um, I will monstrous the death claw. Let's give it four counters and then destroy that. I'll attack Alex for 12 with menace and trample. All right. Even if I you block two, four, yeah, take play it. Play a recon theta. Enters the battlefield. I get a zero, zero alien with a plus one, plus one counter on it. So this can't attack me, can it? It can. It can now. Oh, it can. It has to oh, attack. It has to attack. Okay, okay, okay. Now, yeah. Go ahead, Jer. Untap upkeep. Uh, we're going to look at the top card and probably die to a scary death claw of my own doing. So many follow games in that way. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Tap two. Uh, you know what's an even better than a death claw that's uh, mutated, monstrous, and everything? You got it. If it's well rested. 
Oh, got oh. a good night's sleep. You got a good night's sleep. I don't know what that actually does, but uh, I'm just untap. Put two one one counters on it. Then you gain two life and draw a card. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, how's it going? Okay, all right. All right. All right, hey, cool. here we go. Not a bad game. I think we got oh. to see a lot of stuff. Yeah, I I think I maybe wanted to be a little less aggressive. Maybe. Um, there were turns that I could have obviously like done the tapping to draw, like removing energy to draw cards rather than just like dumping it on the things on board. But... Like the way people's life totals were going, I felt it's, like I had to get in there. You yeah, know? it was a pretty aggressive game. Oh, I, I actually just cut to it too. Really, Sorry. I really needed Jerry not to blasphemous act because mm, if he yeah. had not blasphemous acted and I was able to get a clean uh, ruinous ultimatum off, I just went. Was yeah. ruinous ultimatum destroy all? Destroy all. So what would have happened is you would have ruinous. And then we would have just been like, oh, Jerry would have oh, heroic. Right, okay. and, yeah, right, yeah. So, yeah. I, I was about to say, that's my exact comment yeah. I was about to make, because I wanted to do that with my blasphemous act, but right. then Jan had his one, yeah. uh, and uh, that was the problem for theirs. Yeah. The same exact thing was yeah. just like in different. Reverse, in reverse. Reverse. Yeah, but at that point, I had to uh, ruin his yeah. ultimatum, yes. otherwise there's just nothing going. Yep. Um, but yeah, once we got into the... Uh, end part of that game it was just kind of a slugfest yeah um well, i think it was a slugfest the whole time yeah. so i'm not sure if we saw this card yet contaminated drink this is the it's one like, i i peeped at his hand when i was dead and yeah, we were like x, this should be x blue and black instant draw x cards then get half x rad counters round it up <laughs> that should be target yeah. player yeah, yeah. I think target player be target player like, yeah, give them a million seven. rads or that, whatever that's not bad i will say about rads though is i it's kind of nice and i'm in a more casual environment because it just pushes the game along yes. too. It deals your life toll. You, you're against the clock no matter what. And it's not like everyone can just board up and like, yeah. then you're yeah. just into the, we need 10-10s and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I, I will say one of the things that I think they've done well over the past couple of years is making sure that the decks themselves that play together, they don't tend to get board stall There yeah. tends to be yeah. some kind of mechanism for that. Yeah. I gotta say, I think this was the best I've seen from this. That was insane. Maybe, yeah. 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 Uh, the, it was the the... Two huge artifacts that both made for energy, right? Yeah. Like I had so much, even though I, I died at the end there. I was going to say the rad counters are, uh, I think Jim brought this up in the uh, game two or something. Maybe yeah. it uh, is almost certainly like a thing that they planned for with these because uh, dog meat gets uh, auras or equipments back. Your guy can yeah. get uh, like cheapo guys. Mine can recur artifacts or whatever, right? So like, yeah, it's like, progressing the game but also like giving your opponents more options when yeah. they're played like in the environment like this yeah which uh yeah i think these decks are super sweet yes and it is kind of cool and spiteful because be like if i give you 10 rads and you're at two and then you kill me i could still kill you yeah from, rads, from, like, from beyond from the beyond grave, the grave yeah. Yeah. nuclear pew, fallout pew, 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 going yeah. back as you're going yeah. down the cliff yeah so. well if you want to find some of the best products in the world, you can head over to your local game store and find Gamegenic products there. They make deck boxes, they make sleeves, they make play mats, they make all sorts of things, including stuff for board games. If you've got messy board games, a lot of little doobly-doos and doodads, yeah. check out something like the Token Silo. It's a really great thing to have around. We also want to thank Wizards of the Coast for providing these decks to us. You can check out the link below if you want to go buy those decks. It'll take you either to a map that'll help you find your local game store, or if you're too far from one of those, there's a few other options that can get these decks shipped straight to you. In the meantime, though, you're going to see some names flying over there. Those are our patrons. They're the folks that keep the lights on around here. We want to say thank you so much to all these folks, and if you'd like to join their illustrious ranks, all you have to do is head down below, and while you're liking and subscribing, you can kick, click on the patreon.com slash spike feeders link to go there and sign up for the Patreon for as little as one dollar. Help keep the lights on around here. Be a wonderful person and receive my personal thanks right now. Yeah. Have a nice day.